Garrett here with LiveAndEver.com. Yeah, hey, today we're at Buck's American Cafe, but before we get into that, quick reminder, mark your calendars for Saturday, August 24th. We got the Everett Food Truck Festival and Yum Run 5K coming up. It's gonna be a super duper fun day in Everett, so make sure you go check it out. But now, we're gonna go check out this Everett Institution. It's been here for ages, old classic. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go try some Bucks. So we just got done eating at Buck's American Cafe. This was your first time here. What'd you think? I got the meatloaf special, which I was pretty stoked about because I wanted meatloaf for a long time. My mother makes meatloaf maybe twice a year, so I'm always hankering for some loaf. And I got some here. It was on special of 16 bucks, and I got a ton of food. And I can usually pack away a lot. I have leftovers. It was really, really tasty. Just classic American food that that's what I was in the mood for, and that's exactly what I got. And it's a bit more upscale than your average like diner, I would say, even though I did get a meatloaf. It was like fancy meatloaf. Very rich, flavorful, had like a demi-glaze or something, and uh, garlic mashed potatoes, and vegetable medley. The vegetables were very good, and covered in butter, the way I like them. I, uh, I ordered off the happy hour menu and got their cotton chips. I think it was around eight or nine dollars. And really, really good fish and tartar, both. Loved them, solid. I've been here a number of times before and I feel like it's always really solid quality place. Uh, it's been here in Everett since 1986. Uh, they Good also- Good year, so have I. I've been here since 1986. <laughs> there you go. In the back, they actually have a whole separate room there for uh, larger groups, which is really nice. And just nice like ambience and decor. And I don't know, I like the vibe here. And it's in like the cool old Swalwell building that has like ivy growing over the brick exterior. And the, Let's talk uh, about the Brie. Yeah, the Brie. Oh man, it it's was good. really good, but it was really, really, I guess, filling, very dense, very rich. Obviously it was cheese and mushrooms. It had some portobello mushrooms in there as well. A little crostinis. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was told that to compare that with a red wine on a rainy night, it's very, very delicious. I have to come back and do that. Maybe with a nice book. Speaking of books, our own Richard Porter absolutely loves this place, and he talks Does about he? it a lot. Yes. Yeah. There you go. So if you're into if you're into that Richard Porter kind of vibe, this is, <laughs> this is your place. <laughs> I love yeah. you, Richard. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of the biggest slices of pie I've ever seen. It was massive. It was almost as big as my big Polish head. Yeah, it was like the chocolate and peanut butter pie. Really good. Definitely rich, of course, but super delicious. Huge thanks to Bucks uh, for letting us hang out. Great service. Thanks for taking such good care of us. Keep up the good work. Thanks so much for watching. We put these videos out every single week. So we'll see you next Monday. Have a good one.